Hi, welcome back to Tea and Forget Me Nots. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be transforming this beautiful chest of drawers. Now you'll see in a second that this isn't quite how it arrived at my house, unfortunately, but it's going to be a beautiful transformation anyway. So let's get into it. So where it all began was with this lovely chest of drawers. And you'll notice there's an area that looks like it probably had a mirror with it. And it did, and this is my disappointment in that I broke it. I knew that the mirror frame was slightly loose, however I didn't know how loose it was, so as I tried to move the entire piece, I heard the crash before I saw it. And you can imagine the look on my face, so I was really disappointed. But onwards and upwards, accidents happen, so this is my transformation for how I made it work in its new state. And I know I get comments, and yes, I could have had someone replace the mirror for me, but as I said, the frame wasn't in perfect condition, and actually one of the legs holding up the drawers was also broken, so there was more than just a broken mirror that meant that I needed to remove the entire mirror frame and have this as just a chest of drawers by itself. So my original plan was to keep as much of the wood in its natural state as possible, However, after removing the mirror frame, of course, there were holes in the top, which meant I wouldn't have been able to stain or keep the top natural because the wood filler would have shown through. In addition, there was quite a large crack on one of the sides panels, which also meant I needed to paint that area. And it was those factors which led to the colour combination and style that I went for in the end. So this piece was actually £50 from a charity shop, which is quite a lot of money for me to spend on a piece. Funnily enough, the piece was in the charity shop for quite a long time at £100, and that was out of my budget. And literally the day I decided to say to the people in the shop, if you ever decide to reduce it to £50, I will buy it. They had reduced it already to £50, so it was meant to be. I don't normally have pieces that are quite as dusty as this one so I started by vacuuming up all the dust before giving it a good clean with white lining. Because there were 4 holes per handle and in fact 8 holes per handle because they had been relocated at some point, I wouldn't have been able to keep the drawers a natural colour if I'd filled them in which meant that I had to keep the original handles and couldn't replace them with something a bit smaller. I used wood filler on the top of the edge just to even out the surface slightly. It wasn't to make it looking perfect or brand new again, just give it a little bit of a cleaner line. I could tell from the wood that it was likely to bleed through or cause stains further down the line. So I did a coat of primer in grey and this is called Boss and you can see I used a combination of brush and roller to get it on. The brush really helped with pushing it into where the grains were and then the roller smoothed out the paint so that it was nice and even. And on to the paint. So I chose the black called Anchor and I really like the combination of say a black frame with natural coloured drawers so this is what I was aiming for. I did my first coat of Anchor and applied it with a brush and I had three coats in total and did a combination of both brush and roller to get it on nice and evenly. I placed the piece on its back so I could get easy access to the wheels just to oil them to make them move a bit more smoothly and use this opportunity to paint in the little bits that are hard to get access to or see if you've painted it completely. So you can see there are tiny bits on the legs that I'd missed and I just touched them up here actually with a makeup brush rather than a painter's brush because I didn't have one to hand but it did the job perfectly. So to protect the drawers as you can't just leave them sanded and completely natural otherwise they will just absorb dirt and grime I used Howdy Do Hemp Oil which is probably the simplest top coat you'll ever use. I just rubbed it in with a cloth and after 24 hours, if you see any still on the surface, you can just wipe that off. And it's that simple. And it really brought out the red in this natural wood and now the grains just look so stunning. Black is famously a difficult colour paint to add top coat to without it looking streaky. One of the best ways I've found to combat that is to add some of the paint, in this case Anchor, in with the top coat and mix it together. So I used Anchor and Clear Coat in Satin. And 
when you apply it, it will look grey and a little bit scary, but it definitely dries see-through, so it's fine. And for this top coat, I applied it with a combination of brush and blue sponge, which I love for getting a smooth finish. And onto those handles, the ones that I couldn't easily change without having to paint the drawers because there were so many holes. And they were quite a challenge to get clean, I won't lie. I started by rubbing them down with a cleaner called Barkeeper's Friend and use that in combination with a toothbrush and steel wool and it did quite a good job and then I went back with a product called The Pink Stuff which got into more of those details and they were really quite bright gold by the end of it which actually worked perfectly because they really looked lovely against the keyholes in the drawers but the handle holes I would guess had been hand drilled when they were made because each of the handles was slightly different in where they were placed so it was a case of trial and error and working out which handle fitted the right space on the drawers but we got there in the end and it looks completely different to how it started and not necessarily completely how I envisaged it when I bought the piece but I think it is really beautiful how it has turned out grains in those drawers are just really stunning and I think even enhanced by the fact that they are framed by that black paint. It looks completely different but I think just as beautiful in a very different way. If you'd like to know more about the products that I've used or would like to re recreate the look for yourself then I'll link some information for you below. I hope you've enjoyed this transformation today. If you did, please consider subscribing. It makes a huge difference to smaller channels like mine. Or watch another video in the playlist. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.